Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing a demo on how I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. This palette was sent to me a few months ago and I have been using it ever since I received it. The great thing about this palette is that um, right before I actually received this in the mail from them, um, I was about to go out and start swatching uh, different shades that they had from this <clears throat> from this palette and then I was also going to look into some of the ones that I had seen from Mac that I had happened to like and you know I said let me see what I come up with and then I was so happy when I received this in the mail because I didn't have to go out and swatch anything I just had everything right there in front of me and it made my decision that much easier for me because I was able to now actually go ahead and try all these colors and, and see if they worked really well on my skin as well as my client's skin and the texture and the pigment of it. So for me, um, after experimenting with these the last couple of months, uh, I have to tell you that I think that the Anastasia Contour Palette is absolutely wonderful. The contour colors that she has um, give you such a wide range from whatever skin tone you are. I mean, they just blend beautifully. And I have mentioned them in a couple of my tutorials, um, and I haven't been able to really give you all like an in-depth look as to exactly how I do my highlight and my contour and the whole theory behind how I do it and you know how it works for me and for my clients. So first and foremost, um, I just wanted to go over the colors that I have here. So on the top, what is here is the banana shade, which is this really great um, cancellation and highlight color that will highlight some dark circles if you have them, and it's, it's like a brightener. So I typically take banana and vanilla. I uh, mix those two so together. I have ha uh, Java, Havana, and 10K. So I typically use, I mix these two colors together when I'm contouring in this area of my face, or like even under the chin or the neck area, and they just really uh, blend really well with the type of skin color that I have. And this color right here, 10K, is a beautiful like highlight color that just looks great on all skin tones. It's not too light and it's not too dark. It's, it's actually really pretty. And I'm gonna show you um, in my tutorial, my demo in a few minutes, exactly how it looks when I put it on with what I have. And then up here I have Golden Peach, and I like to use this on certain other areas of my face after I contour. So just to touch base with all of you a little bit uh, about contour and highlight, now I know that it can become somewhat tricky and also uh, somewhat, I would say scary. There are a lot of women that love highlight and contour and there are a lot of clients that I have and they'll tell me, oh please can you highlight and contour my face. Um, what you see sometimes in on camera or in photos is actually a lot more in person and typically to do something like that for women every day or when they have an event to go to or even my bridal clients, it's way too overpowering. So anytime I do any type of highlight and contour, for me, I find it best that you can use product, uh, but you can make it look very natural. And what I really like about this palette, uh, this contour uh, palette, these six shades, is that it gives you the ability to highlight and contour and look exceptionally natural and not overdone. And if you're the type of person that likes to blend, then I think that this would be a great opportunity for you to try out these colors um, and utilize them in your routine, especially if you're going out. Each individual refill pan, or one of these, um, their refill pans, they will run you $14 each. So you actually save when you purchase six. Uh, you can see the colors online at her website, which is AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, and um, you will be able to see that they have uh, such a wide range of colors to cater to all skin tones and skin types from light, medium, tan, dark, uh, if you have red undertones. So if you are on a budget, 
and you find that you do not have the money to spend on the entire, you know, six colors, what I would recommend is one of two things. Purchase yourself one highlight color, which would be great for setting your concealer and highlighting down the bridge of your nose or even under your jawline, you know, underneath the contour area right here. The second thing is to get a nice contour color. So if it was up to me and you have a similar skin color to me, the two colors that I would get and I find that would be beneficial uh, for someone the similar skin tone as myself is vanilla and java. I think that you will do really well with those two colors. Now, um, if you don't want to go in and get a highlight color, then don't, but definitely try the contour colors. Uh, they are so easily blendable. They're very pigmented, but they just blend so easy. There is not fallout. There is like practically no fallout with these uh, pigmented powders. I mean, they just, they look great. They really, really do. They, they glide on creamy. So I am excited to show all of you how I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. So if you do want to see how I use it and how I highlight and contour um, on a daily basis or if I were to have that really natural look, but you can also incorporate this into an evening look if you're going out um, or if you have an event to go to, which, you know, whichever, and, um, you know, just uh, just play. My, my biggest thing that I tell my clients is and my followers is just keep playing and blending the worst that can happen is that if it does not look good is you wash it off that is the worst that can happen so let's just get right into it so I can show all of you how I highlight and contour using this palette okay so the first thing that I'm going to start with is I'm going to highlight um, in underneath my eyes and those are the areas that I want to reflect more light and appear because when those are brighter they appear more open so what I'm going to start with is the banana powder and the vanilla powder which is right here these two and I'm gonna mix these two together to set my under eyes I'm going to use a tapered highlighter brush. This is from Sigma F35. It looks like this. And I'm going to take the yellow toned one and the lighter one, which is vanilla. Okay, and the first thing I always do after I finish my, uh, my makeup is I go right to my concealer. So right now I have only foundation on and a little bit of concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear in this area. I'm wearing Giorgio Armani's Luminous, Luminous Silk. And so now this is how much I have on the brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to set under the eye. And when you do that, you kind of want to bounce on it. You don't want to just like brush it on because that's not going to really do what you want. You want the powder to actually sit and absorb into the concealer as well as your own natural oils. Whether you have dry skin or normal skin, oily skin, you do have oils on your skin and they will absorb. So as you could start to see now with just that one pass of the, <clears throat> excuse me, of the concealer, um, of the highlighting, um, it, this area actually appears more bright. So now I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm going to press, I'm pressing in. You want to do that so that, you know, it, it adheres to it. And I don't like to use just the straight banana color alone, even though it's great, um, just because I like a little bit more neutral tone color under my eyes. Now I'm gonna go back in with this vanilla color right here. underneath in these two areas. So already, as you can see, I have formed this nice highlight right in this area, okay? So when you are highlighting, those are the areas you want to appear more bright. Then I'm also going to take this color and I'm gonna bring it down the center of my nose, right here, just a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I'll do next with the contour colors. And before I go and highlight anything else, I do it a couple different ways. So you can highlight or contour, or do contour first, or highlight first. I kind of do both in between, because I like to see the way the definition in my face is coming out. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to contour right underneath in this area right here, which is if you if you find this part of your ear, you're going to actually just match it up with your finger and there's going to be a little dip here. And even if you don't have a little like hollowness here, don't worry because you can create it. So here's your cheekbone and then you're going to go right under the cheekbone right in here. So the brush that I'm going to use today, I, I just absolutely love it. This is a great contouring brush. This is from It Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Luxe Soft Sculpting Brush. Um, and it just really does a great job at contouring in these areas because it has this angled appearance to the brush. I'm going to put a link below to these um, all the brushes that I received from It Cosmetics and you can actually see more um, in depth information about it. The first color that I'm going to contour with is Java and I absolutely love this color. So if you are in the same skin tone family as me, this is a must have. So it's this color right here. And what I do is I take a little bit on the side of the brush. You could go to either side, whichever works for you. And then I give it a quick tap, but it doesn't lose a lot of powder. So now, as you can see, I have just a little bit right here at the top of the brush, okay? And what I'm going to do now is create that line. And there are a couple ways to do it. You can go like this, and there'll be a little dip. Or like I said, you can follow this part of your ear and go all the way down. So what I'm going to do is start to create that line, and in soft little strokes, I'm creating it. And you want to go gentle. You don't really, for me, I don't like when the contour lines are very um, deep and harsh. When you're doing highlighting and contouring, you want it to look natural. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I like it to look natural, including including even on my clients. I don't like anything over the top because it's so nice when you have this beautiful highlight and contour that just looks like it matches your skin. That's the whole goal. If you're going in for like a red carpet a, a red carpet look, yeah, you could go a little bit more if you have a huge event and you're taking all these photos and you really want it to be very noticeable, then yes, you could add a little bit more. So now what I'm going to do at this point is, here I have this line right here, okay? Now the next thing to do is to start to blend it in. And in order to do that, the way I do it is I take the brush and I start to move it side to side, but then I press, I press in. This way it looks more skin-like and it gives more of that appearance of skin. So it looks more natural. So as you can see, I'm taking the brush and I'm pushing it in. in my face, you're, st you're going to start to see it looks more chiseled on this side versus this side, okay? Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take the Java and I'm going to start pressing it into my skin. I'm going to match it up on both sides. And as you see, I'm pressing and I'm lifting up. Why? Because I want my cheekbones to come up. And that's what you want when you're doing a contour under the cheekbone. So I'm going to go up. See, you start to have that illusion right in here and right in here. It's nice. It's buffed in. It's subtle, and then you can take your brush if you want, and you kind of like just sweep it back and forth in circular motions to just blend it in. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is if you had, let's just say, a large forehead where it comes a little bit higher than mine right here, and you want to sh contour that to decrease it, you're going to want the darker colors to come more in here, okay? This is going to bring it down. But for me, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable with the way my forehead is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with Java right here, 
and I'm going to just gently by my t uh, above by my hairline close to you take it from the brow the arch of the brow up and you're going to start to shade that area it's going to give more depth onto the skin and it's going to give it more it's going to make it look more natural and everything is going to start to even out okay see I started to create a little bit of shading in this area just to deepen it up so then if it, it, it kind of matches what's going on here now if you wanted to contour in this area whether you had a double chin here or you just want more definition more sculpting in this area you're gonna go back in with a deeper color and I'm going to use Havana okay I'm gonna go a little deeper I'm gonna play a little bit with the colors so I'm gonna take Havana and all I'm going to do is start from here and work my way down into the front that's it you don't want to do too much and it's going to become very apparent that you did that. And I'm just brushing it along my jawline. If you don't forget to take a little bit of Java or any other color that matches, you're going to bring it right down the center of your neck. Okay? This is going to elongate the neck. And then if you, let's just say you have a little bit of a double chin right here, you're going to go back in with another color. You could go with Havana or you can go with Java and you're going to bring it right here. And then it's going to shade this area here and it's going to push it away. It's going to push it back. Whereas light, anything light gonna, is going to come forward. If let's just say your nose, you wanted to contour it a little bit. It looks a little bit flat because of the way you have the foundation on and everything else like that. So what you're going to do is, what I do and what I recommend is I'm going to go back in with Java right here. I'm going to take a little bit. This is a tapered blending brush E40 from Sigma. And I'm going to take that blending brush, okay, I'm going to put a little bit on the side of it. And then I'm going to go down to the nose. So what I do is I like to start right here. So if you figure right at the corner of your eye you're gonna move it over okay and you're gonna match that and you're gonna come down and this right next to your nostril and the tip of your nose is a little dip right here okay pretty much most of us all of us have that so that's where you're gonna connect your lines and I'm gonna go down here gently you don't want to do too much in this area because then it's gonna just start to make your, no your nose look really fake and you're not gonna want that. I'm gonna go a little bit more here. Do the same thing. Take a look. Right here you can see that here's the center of my nose and right here there's a little bit of contour. This is where the deep color is. You don't wanna bring it all the way down because then it'll start to look muddy and you will look like you have no nose on this part. And underneath here, you want to add a drop right to the tip. And also if you want to add a little nice dip in your nose right here to make it look more like a little button nose right here, you take a little bit and just go right on top. So as you can see, there's a little shading here. And as I turn, there's a little shading right here. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is go back in with the, the lighter shade. I'm going to go back in with my vanilla. And I'm going to bring it down the center of my nose. Okay. And don't forget that when you're doing this, you really want to blend really well where it was a little bit darker and what you can do is you could take your fingers and just kind of blend it out really nice with that the good thing about these powders is for me you could even set your foundation with them I think they're great so I'm gonna take this other color that I have and I'm gonna mix it together with the vanilla shade that I have and I'm gonna mix these two together I'm going to go right into the center right here 
and I'm gonna start to take my brush I'm just gonna tap it right in that area okay, to make it appear more bright golden peach again alone and I'm gonna go right here underneath where I did the contour so you don't just see one shade you don't just see your foundation and then a contour line there should be continuity going throughout the whole entire face don't forget golden peach right here now what I've done is I've, I've highlighted and contoured into the nose area I've done the forehead I've done the cheek area over here and now the next thing that I'm going to do is if you want to create the illusion of a fuller lip I'm gonna go back in with the color Java and right under here I'm gonna deepen it a little bit what you can do is you could take a little brush like this and you could squeeze it together to give it this type of shape this fan shape but not too tight and I'm just going to put it right under here in the center of the bottom of the lip I'm gonna give you the illusion of more of that fullness and like going a pucker to use in that area blush and I'm going to take the color just to show you guys exactly how I make this work um, I'm gonna take this color from Mac and it's called well dressed and I'm gonna apply my blush okay I want to create more depth in the cheek area with these um, with the contour colors so now I'm going to go and take the color Havana from the contour book and I'm going to take the side of my blush brush and go right here at the top it's going to create more depth I'm going to do it here then I'm going to go back in with that contour brush and I'm going to start patting it in and blending it into the skin. As, as I'm doing that, I'm lifting up the brush. The next thing you can do is take a lighter shade and to create more of a contour and a highlight onto the face right underneath this dark area you want it to pop you're going to take a lighter shade and you're going to go underneath right in here that is going to give you more of a chiseled look on the face i'm going to take the yellow banana color just add a little bit right up here and you see how the crease now appears there's more depth where the contour is I'm gonna take a little bit of the banana again I'm gonna go right down here to highlight this area now if you want to highlight in addition to what you did here on the cheeks I love this color this is um this is the shade 10k from Anastasia and I take my ring finger I put a little bit on it and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it in this area on to the skin it's going to give you the illusion more of that glow in that area if you want you could also take just a drop put it at the tip of the nose it's like a really nice little highlight right there and don't forget to take a little bit now you can just put this at the cupid's bow but if you want your cupid's bow to stand out just a little bit more what i suggest is going back in with that fluff brush um, which is the e40 i'm going to take this shade right here and i'm going to just put a drop right where the cupid's bow is right here and it's going to give the illusion and give it more of that pucker right up top Okay. Then I'll take the highlighting shade, 10K, and I'm going to put a little bit right here. 
and you can see it starts to appear more open in this area. Now, if you have oily skin, you do not have to do the highlighting part with the 10K or any type of shimmery product. These will probably make you appear more oily. Just go in with a lighter shade that's more matte. That's it. So that pretty much sums it up on how I highlight and contour. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup okay, and I'll be so right Okay, so I hope that all of you enjoyed this quick tutorial, review, and demo on how I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Please let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I am always here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. You can pretty much follow me everywhere. Find me everywhere. And, um, you know, I will see all of you in my next video. And a very big thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you like this video, please give it a nice thumbs up. I'll have more information listed down below. And, uh, and that's it. I'll see all of you next week. Take care.